Okay, so as we bring uh, this morning to a close, I, I just want to recognise a few people and to sort of do some closing comments, really. And I can see Jim Robbins from Swindon on you, uh, Innovation District Partner uh, here. So welcome, welcome, Jim. I can see uh, Charles Mildenhall here, who's one of the founders of this place, but also of Scale Space. So, and I can see so many people in the room, from Oscar to Henrik to all the different people who have been a key part of where we've got to so far. As, as Hugh said, the, the biggest question we get asked by anybody who's interested in innovation-led growth is how have you done it so quickly? And um, the answer is collaboration and partnership. It is culture eats strategy for breakfast. It is making a way of sharing learnings openly and reaching out in such a way that people feel they want to join. Um, so that's the basis of it. There are three things I think we should take away that are in this document that we uh, set out today. The first is, what is the nature of entrepreneurial municipal government? Well, at a time when government is strapped for cash, as it has been for a very long time, it requires the type of place-based leadership where you think like an entrepreneur, not always using your own money, but bringing people together to achieve common outcomes that benefit the community that you represent. We think that's a crucial way that we'll see growth, not just here in Hammersmith and Fulham, but in Swindon, in Barnsley, in Jeju, in um, Oslo, and in all the other places that we work with. The second thing is the pathway bond. Building on Hillary Clinton's book title and that African proverb that it takes a village to raise a child, the question then is what does a village look like in a pluralistic, urban, capital city of one of the great countries on the planet. And what it looks like is every single corporation, every single startup, every single organization doing its bit to open up opportunities for children in a way have never been before. The pathway bond, a bond being a solemn commitment that you make to another person, is a bond that we will offer children signed with an organization, signed with a school, and signed with the council to guarantee that we will arrange for them to have life opportunities, whether it is uh, work experience, apprenticeships, trips abroad, or whatever, that's what the Pathway Bond will do. And it's one of the things our international community of partners are very interested in. And that leads me to my final point then. When we set out on this mission, we thought that there were lots of people we could copy and people we could buy in who knew about place-based economic growth. And actually, there were very few in the United Kingdom. For all sorts of different reasons, we ended up looking abroad. And with Teams and Zoom and WhatsApp calls, today you can make close relationships with people around the world because the tech allows for it. So I am delighted that we have set up a cooperative growth alliance for anyone who wants to start an innovation district or has one. And that means here in Hammersmith and Fulham, our alliance is with Barcelona, it's with Jeju in Poland, it's with Lillestrom and Oslo in Norway, it's with Buenos Aires in Argentina, it's with Melbourne, RMIT in Melbourne, it's with so many different places, including Swindon and Barnsley uh, here in the United Kingdom. That has that aspect of that cooperative growth alliance builds on the culture of cooperation, but it has three features. Let's share our learnings. Now, I'm a politician, so what that often means for most politicians is sharing your successes. I can tell you the bit people are interested in is sharing every single mistake you make. And that takes a certain type of friendship, doesn't it? To be able to set out, I got that wrong. I wish I'd done this differently. <laughs> That's what we have with all our international partners. And that's why Milan is such a crucial partner as well, as I was with them last week in the Italian embassy. And we talked about our common endeavor to grow our common communities. But sharing learning is number one. Number two, can we create common investment opportunities? Here we have the city of London and all its investment that's available to it. Can we create opportunities to win investment for Hammersmith and Fulham, but also for Jeju? 
for Hammersmith and Fulham, but also for Milan or Melbourne, and vice versa. So if a business wants to source in Buenos Aires, we will help them move here. And if one of ours wants to expand into South America, we, they will help them move into Buenos Aires. That's the nature of investment cooperation. And then there's the third thing, which is people give, because of their networks, different types of opportunities to their children. If you're lucky enough to have parents who are connected, genuinely connected, then you can arrange for work experience in great opportunities for your children. If you're not, you simply can't. So we want to scale that up. So part of what our growth partnership will do, part of what our pathway will do, is provide opportunities for kids to go and work in Milan for, and work experience, for kids to come and work here in White City on work experience, interview training, inspiration, and practical support with a whole community puts its arms around all our young people and points in the direction of the future. Now the fact is we don't know what the future holds, but we do know it is changing faster than ever before. And we look at it competently with optimism because we're determined to shape it. And how do you best shape the future? You shape it with a huge alliance of people with the values locked into liberal democracies and the confidence to make sure that we know that we're right in the way that we develop our pluralistic societies. Of societies that have opportunity abound, where people wake up confident that tomorrow will be better than yesterday and that their children will live better than them. That's a promise. And that's why the Clinton campaign said it's the economy, stupid. That's a promise of a strong economy. It's a promise of this upstream London plan. It's a promise of all of you in this room together. And I therefore thank you for being part of our journey and setting out what we will do to make the lives of people around here better than they've ever been. Thank you. And thank you for coming. <laughs>